heavenly salutations to the world, the local community in our countries, and the individuals who follow us on a daily basis. We are more than buoyed by the grace that God is giving unto us especially regards the gift of the prophetic that he has anointed us with and the ability to have prophetic intelligence to tell the future from the present. I'm here not only as a minister of the word of God, but also in my capacity as a prophet ordained by heaven to discharge a prophetic mandate. In this particular instance, God has given me a vision and that vision regards political vicissitudes that pertain to our times, more particularly regards the country of Zimbabwe. There is much ado, much to talk about regards the events that are to occur in our country, in our nation. And for the sake of our commitment to the word of God and our duties as vessels in the kingdom, it becomes incumbent upon us to relay the prophetic message as is delivered unto us. In this particular instance, the Lord showed me a vivid vision regards the police in the country and I saw the police getting engaged in a protracted skirmish with people generally in the country and I begin to experience it as though I was a part of the skirmish itself. It was a lockdown of a more vivid nature which had been imposed by the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe. So I thought in my mind and said, but we have already seen such a kind of um, lockdown but not as vivid as this one and what would be the reason or cause re why we would have such kind of a lockdown being imposed on the country and as I thought as much I began to view in another direction police were beating people a lot of people were actually starting to experience quagmires in as much as they were being violated in as far as their rights are concerned. So it is our duty as a country and also as a people to pray regards the politics of our country and also to pray regards the governance of our country. It is in that solemn regard that I implore the nation of Zimbabwe, especially the political leaders, to pray so that in their governance nothing amiss is able to come on the fall which could be deleterious unto the general public itself. So I'm praying for this particular country, Zimbabwe, because I saw the police, I saw pattern sticks being made to bear on the populace because they were trying to enforce a lockdown of a vivid nature and a lockdown which has never been precedented before. It was a lockdown which Zimbabwe had never ever experienced before. So my encouragement is for us all to pray and to pray without ceasing because the times are nigh. May God bless you.